I recently made a few lightsaber tutorials, but I decided to remake a new tutorial of the lightsaber effect. This tutorial will show you how to make a lightsaber effect in Sony Vegas Pro 11 and will work on any Sony Vegas Pro programs. Please enjoy this tutorial. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Ben Moss, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a lightsaber effect in Sony Vegas Pro 11. I know I've recently done one before, but I decided to remake a new one. So let's begin this tutorial. What you're going to do is get a video clip of yourself holding the lightsaber. It could be any form of lightsaber. It could be a toy version, ones that you get from Ultra Sabers, or what have you, or even a broomstick. You can just put duct tape on it, make it a handle, and then boom, you got yourself a lightsaber. Now, as you can see, I'm trying to do my very famous stance. If any of you know what I did, please leave your comments below the video. And let's just begin. And yes, I had to keyframe each, every detail of this clip, even though it's four seconds long. But the, the keyframes take time and patience to do this into perfection. So, with that said, what you're going to do now is go to Media Generators. You can pick any solar color you want to get. I particularly picked blue because I'm gonna go with the blue like super effect, the very classical color of the original Star Wars franchise. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is you go to the layer that you made, go to pen crop, then click on the mask tool, click the pen icon, and you make four corners, like as you see that here on the screen. And yep, again, as I said, each frame would take time and effort. Even though it will be time consuming, this alone took me 15 minutes because I've been practicing and experimenting with my lightsaber skills. This took me maximally about 15 to 30 minutes at the most. But for beginners, it will take you two hours, but I promise you it will be worth it. So yeah, I kinda did the swing effect. I was trying to like do like I'm raising the lightsaber up because I tried to follow up the Star Wars Rebels effect quality. I've really been a huge fan of the show ever since, but there you go. There, I actually made exactly the lightsaber blade. I wanted it to be bigger, but it, this would do, so okay. Now what you're gonna do is duplicate the layer, or control C, and those who have Mac, I do not know how you do the command for that. Now you paste the layer, I'll tell you guys later about why there's two in the meantime. Anyways, click on the first option, make sure it is selected. And then you can press OK. Um, there we go. That's OK. Now we go to the media generator for layer and make this go to white. And now go to the blue layer and go to video effects. Pick Sony Glint, Glow, and Gaussian Blur. And press OK. Now I'm going to try to go to the blue. Fiddle around with the glow and the sensitivity. Now I know a lot of you people would think this doesn't look like a blue lightsaber from the Star Wars movie, sir, in the prequels, but not in the actual movies or in the Force Awakens. Don't worry, I'll get I'll explain how you can make it look like that. So But first I have to fix the white core because I do not like how it looks. Go to Gaussian Blur. And I recommend you try keeping both horizontal and vertical range to 105. And there you go. I like how this looks. Okay. And the one I experiment just a little bit from downwards. Section. And I like that. That's very good. Alright. Just ugh, and a little bit more. Perfect. Now exit out. There you go, that's how it looks, but I'll explain to you how to make it even more convincing. So, the second layer is for a good reason. Remember the copy layer that you did? Now, paste it. Oh, this mouse is not cooperating with me. Now paste, uh, come on. Paste. Make sure that the first layer is selected, press OK. And now I'm going to change the color to... Scion to Aquamarine category. Or Sky Blue, as you want to call it. Alright. Go to Glow, Glint, Glock, Gushibler. There you go. And there uh, you go. And I do not want red. No, I don't want red. What am I doing? Oh dear. That does not look right. And, um. Okay, there you go. See, there you go. 
And yep, this kind of looks like The Force Awakens a little, but I want to give it a more of the darker glow outline, if you will. So, okay. That looks good, but I just want to darken it out a little bit. Go to the first layer, fiddle with it a bit if you like, and... Okay, let's just... I'm just gonna experiment with the glow and the glint. Just keep experimenting with the glint to see if you like how it looks. Just keep fiddling around, and... Okay! There you go! And I'm just gonna see how it looks at the end, right here, and... There you go! Let's see it. Hey, now that is what I call a blue lightsaber effect. And there you go. That's what you do with lightsaber effect. It's only because for 11. And I like how this looks. Let's see the full effect, shall we? Now I know a lot of you are thinking, I want to have a red lightsaber or a green lightsaber, yellow, or what have you. Don't worry. I'll show you how you can change the colors. What you can do is go to glow. Pick these colors here, there you go. So the red is very simple, really. Next, we want to change this color. So let's go to red, and there you go. Now that's not even close to the red quality, so there you go. Now I want to dim this down a bit, just to trim it down. There you go. Now for this. And there you go, there's your red lightsaber hilt, and that's pretty close to the red. And yes, I actually kind of like how the red looks, to be honest with you. Now for those who want a green, that's easy, just pick green. I want to darken this down a bit just to give it a more of a solid color. Right here. And yes, there's the new hope quality, but I want to change these to yellow. And green. There we go. There you go, there's the green, which I kind of like how the green looks, it's very unique in my opinion. And now for my favorite color, yellow, oh boy, here we go. And I want to give it a glint because it is a little bit of rain.
And there's my favorite color, yellow. And I really love yellow. As a lot of you all know, this is the kind of lightsaber that I want, is yellow. And now for white, this is pretty easy to do. It's just, okay, pure white here. Now, what I used to do for Ahsoka's type lightsaber held, just make it close to the... There you go, there's Ahsoka's lightsaber, just the white lightsaber. There you go, there's Ahsoka's lightsaber. And yes, I know a lot of you are the orange geeks, which I cannot, I'm not complaining, orange is a good color. So what I'm going to do now is pick these colors to here. Okay. And now we could just fit her around here. That's kind of a dim orange for those who want it dimmed, but if those who want it like dark orange, then I really recommend you follow my tutorial very carefully on how you want the orange to look. Like that. And now I just want to increase the dark orange a bit to give it more of that darkish glow. There you go. And here's your orange lightsaber effect, everybody. You guys can experiment with what colors you want to have for your lightsaber, but I seriously recommend if you follow these tutorials care this tutorial carefully, I would guarantee that you will love how your lightsaber effects look. I hope this tutorial on the lightsaber effect can help you guys out on Sony Vegas Pro 11 and any other Sony Vegas Pro programs. For more content, please support me by subscribing, leave your comments below, press the like button, and support me on Patreon. And if anybody suggests new content, please leave your comments below, and I would gladly do some for you. I am Ben Massa, may the force be with you all, and peace.